This is the Euron P6. Many years of development and refinement have gone into this model, resulting in the most versatile strapping platform, able to strap and protect a wide variety of your products. The Euron P6 series is available in multiple strap sizes, ranging from 5mm strap to 12mm strap, and can run both polypropylene and polyester strapping. There are many different arch size configurations, ranging from 24 inches to 24 inches, up to 65 inches wide and 40 inches high. There are many options available, all to make the user experience one of simplicity with ease of maintenance. There are three different versions of the Yoram P6. There's a walk-up smooth tabletop version, a powered belted conveyor top model, and a powered roller conveyor top model. All of the versions we will look at today will have Mosca's Sonics ultrasonic sealing technology. Sonic sealing technology, proprietary to Mosca, is one of the most efficient ways to seal plastic strapping and can be used on polypropylene as well as polyester strapping. Sonix is cool to the touch and does not leave any gummy residue that's evident with heater blade type seals. Sonix takes no time to heat up, does not use energy when not in use, and only calls for energy when a seal is being made, so it's most energy efficient. The seal is made by high frequency vibrations that change the molecules of the plastic to provide the strongest seal joint. On board the machine, we have a control panel that swivels 180 degrees to any position and allows for easy access for the operator from the front, side, or back of the machine. Controls are simple to use and easy to learn. At the top of the control panel is an on-off switch. Next down is a strap activation push button. The tension is controlled by a potentiometer and it controls the tension from a level of one to 10. There is a tension memory setting. In this mode, when selected, the machine will only apply the tension value that was stored. There's also a soft tension mode for delicate products. The control panel is expandable for additional options. The RMP6 has several strapping modes. In manual mode, which is designated by the hand icon on the operator panel, a single strap will be applied each time the push button or foot bar is activated. For continuous strapping, simply hold the push button in with the foot bar down for the number of straps desired. A popular option of the RMP6 is to add the optional photo eye. Two different modes in photo single, the single strap will be applied each time the photo eye is blocked and will not apply another strap until the photo eye has been cleared. In photo continuous, the machine will continue applying straps as long as the photo eye remains blocked. Strapping will stop once the photo eye is cleared. With the RMP6 belted or roller automatic conveyor top machines, you can choose several modes of strapping single, double, multi, all adjustable for strap position. Let's take a closer look at the tension settings. On the RMP6 strapping machine, we have three different tension settings, soft, adjustable, and a stored memory setting. The soft tension setting should be used when strapping extremely delicate products. In this setting, the lowest amount of tension would be applied to prevent any product damage. To return back to the adjustable tension setting, simply press the soft tension button, the light turns off, indicating that it is now disabled. The potentiometer dial can be adjusted from a low to high setting as needed by turning the dial lower for less tension and higher number for higher tension. If there is a specific tension value that you would like to store for certain applications, consider using the tension memory setting. When selected, the machine will only apply the tension value that was stored. Coil changes on this machine are easy and fast. When the coil runs out, the remaining strap in the machine is automatically ejected. To thread the strap on a new coil, begin by opening the front door or pulling out the side dispenser door of the machine. Turn to the dispenser knob counterclockwise to remove the outer spool cover. Remove and discard all dunnage from the empty spool. Install the new strap spool on the dispenser, making sure it unwinds in the same direction as the yellow arrows on the outer cover. Align the pin 
on the outer cover with the receiver, secure by pushing it in and turning the knob clockwise until it latches. Press and release the dispenser brake release button while guiding the strap under the strap guide and over the idler roller. Insert the strap into the guide until feeling resistance. Press and hold down the lever while pushing approximately three more inches of strap into the machine, then release the lever. Simply close up all the doors and finish by pressing the flashing button or the foot bar at the bottom of the machine. When the threading is complete, the light will turn to a solid green indicating that the machine is ready to strap. One of the nice features of the RMP6 is the ease of maintenance. Let's take a closer look at the Tula strapway. To gain access, the front table is easily removed by pulling out a pin and lifting off. Start by swinging out the latch for the upper strap guide cover, then lift it up to remove. Next, push down on the spring latch for the tension arm and slide it off the pivot shaft. Finally, flip up the latch for the pressure wheel assembly and rotate it back. At this point, compressed air can be used to blow out all accessible areas of the strapway. Another great feature of the latest generation of the RMP6 Evolution machine is the ability to remove the accumulator strap drive for cleaning. Finally, open the front access door to remove the accumulator covers by disengaging the spring clip securing the two covers together. These steps allow for complete access to the full strapway of the machine. While operating the machine, if you do encounter a strap jam, the strap track will automatically open and the indicator light will flash red. Check for any debris that may have contributed to the strap jam and grab and hold the loose end of the strap while closing the tabletop. Holding the strap tight while pressing the foot bar will cut and refeed the strap. If no additional faults are detected, the indicator light will turn to a steady green indicating that the machine is ready to go. Thanks so much for watching our presentation. This wraps up our inside look at the RMP6 Evolution system. Now for the remaining time, let's go back to our training room at Moscow headquarters and we'll take your questions.